Everyone is talking about this Insta 361R, but trust me, no one is telling you the truth. So I bought this Insta360 after watching all those videos YouTubers are putting out there. They're talking about how great it is, it shoots a 360 video, and how convenient it is, and the image quality. Not everything is true. I couldn't use most of the footage I had from this camera. So this is why I've decided to make this video, and this might be helpful to you. The biggest issue I had with this camera was the image quality. You know, first thing you see, they advertise and they promote 5.7K, but that's for 360 degrees. But when you are cropping that image to wide angle or ultra wide angle, you lose a lot of quality. And most of the time, it does not match with the footage you're gonna take with your DSLR. This has a very obvious stitch line, which will really throw you off because it's not like the other Insta360 they have. So I couldn't use a lot of footage because of the stitch line was very much visible. It was too obvious for anyone not to use it. So what I'm doing most of the time, not to get the stitch line so obvious, I'm facing the lens, whichever side is really important for me because most of the time a stitch line will appear on this side. So I'm trying my best not to keep the edges towards the important subjects, whatever I want to capture the most, I'm making sure the lens is towards that. Red dot issue. It's very obvious. I know they've been keep saying that with a far more update, it can be solved, but they haven't solved it yet. And it's been already released more than a month. So I'm not sure how long is it gonna take and when they're gonna solve this problem, but it is a big issue. Other than that, it's been a great camera. If you're shooting mostly outdoor, I would say go for it because you will never have low light issue. Although it's specialized for low light, but it's not good enough. You can't use those footage, at least with the 360 lens. So there is no point. I'm throwing some of the samples so you can have a look and decide, would you use this footage or not? For me, maybe in some cases I would use it, but not all the time. I believe that one inch sensor can be a great option, but I'm not interested to invest more money on this because I already have a DSLR which takes better quality image. What I really like about this camera is the flexibility. It's so easy and simple to use. Literally, it has two buttons, one to switch on and one to shoot. The touch screen is great. I know on Amazon review, somebody complained that, oh, touch screen is too sensitive. Trust me, I would rather have a sensitive touch screen than something not sensitive because you don't want to spend too much time fiddling around. So what I would recommend, watch some more reviews and I will see you in the next one.